Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Rasmussen. Today I would like to show you how to set up a sheet using MicroStation V8i. I'm going to start with our CAD procedures which are up on the company's intranet. I'm going to go to page 2 and where the table of contents is and we see here creating a sheet. These are linked where I could just click on that and it will bring me to this page which is page 4. Creating a sheet. The prerequisite is that you must have a border file. Um, your border file better measure 24 inches by 36 inches for this to work correctly. The lower left corner should be at 0, 0. You're going to find several projects are set up with the sheet size set to 24 feet by 36 feet. In order for annotation scale to work correctly, um, we're going to make sure that we set all this to inches. We also want to know that the sheet seed file is configured within the PCF file. I'm going to show you that right now. The PCF file is here. Um, we have MS sheet, a model seed is set to the seed sheet DGN. This is something that I set up the CAD manager or I will work with the CAD coordinator um, to get that set correctly for your project. The seed file that I created there already has the border attached to it as a reference your project should be set up that way if it's not you could manually browse to it but for the presentation I already attached it let's proceed with the workflow we are going to create a new sheet file using the project sheet seed file we'll set the properties to 1 inch equals 30 <clears throat> we'll attach our base maps we'll set our desired scale for the sheet we'll check that that border is attached I'll show you how to do that and then we're going to change some properties to redefine the boundary, maybe change some scales. Let's get right to work. I have a blank file here, there's nothing in it. I'm going to start out by, let's go right to our home tasks. When we look under here, there's an option for drawing composition. I'm going to expand that. That symbol there showed that it's a group. This icon there, it's a workflow, which consists of several groups of tools. We're going to expand the sheet composition. And within the sheet composition, we want to say create a new sheet. When I choose that button, the dialog box pops up. We're going to notice that it says sheet from seed. It's already pointing at that seed file that I showed you that I set in the PCF file. This would be the model name. We don't need to name that. And the annotation scale, we're going to stick with 30 since that's the sheet size we want to use. I could give this a sheet name here, say construction plan, and I could even give it a sheet number. These are very helpful when we start using fields. I'm not going to get into that today, but I will cover that at another time. We notice here that we're going to display the sheet boundary. Also the border is attached to it. The size is 22 by 36 inches, and the origin will take care of that in a little bit. We will now proceed to attach the reference file. I'm going to pick the base file and really at this step you would pick several files. We see the border file is already attached. I am going to attach and for this demo I have something on my desktop that is just a basic base map that we're going to attach. I'm going to stick with coincident world. Very important that it aligns the same working units. The detail scale is going to be 1 inch equals 30 which is 1 to 1 and we're just going to say OK. Let me close this box and do a fit. We see our base map comes in here. For a demonstration purpose, I made a second view over here which shows the sheet. We have our sheet here in one view and here's our mapping area in another view. What I'm going to do is define sheet boundary. Now this can be done through the menu here through your model dialog box it says define sheet boundary we also can pull it out through our sheet composition define sheet boundary when I choose this by default it goes to move so I'm gonna say move and I wanna move from this lower left corner and I'm gonna move it roughly to encompass this ramp because we're now done with the move I can expand this and we see here we have our sheet in there next thing we're gonna do is clip that to clip it I'm gonna come in and say clip reference always read the lower left corner it says select reference clip element identify clipping element 
So I'm going to identify the element that we're clipping. Now it says select the reference. I want to clip that one. So it clipped it to our border. The benefit of this is now we could actually define the border by moving it and say we'd rather see it up here. Notice that my mapping didn't move, but the border moved and it reclipped everything. Let's even say that somebody comes back and needs to change the scale of this. I'm going to go into the properties. I'm going to change this from 1 inch equals 30 to 1 inch equals 50. Behind me, you can see the sheet here and here. When I hit OK, it expands now and we now have our larger sheet, which is set at 1 inch equals 50. This will conclude cutting a sheet using sheet border. Thank you.